And welcome back, guys, to Falcon Place Risk of Rain. Now, today we're going to be looking at... Let's see, I, I said I was in the last time when we played. We played as a bandit. It didn't kind of go too well for us. He has the badass hat and fucking, uh... I guess, uh, cowboy hat and everything. But it just didn't go with us. And I haven't necessarily, uh... I guess, like, felt like I've properly mastered enough to actually want to give it another chance. So what we're going to do today is actually do the engineer, which I haven't played as of yet with... And let's see how this goes. Like, I've heard the engineer is a bit more difficult, and it seems like more like multiplayer uh, oriented, but we're gonna give it a try. Apparently, he has a lot of like area attacks, like hit and runny, and that's basically what I do best is hit and run. Uh, that's kind of like one of the charges that was dropped against me a few years as well. So, I mean, you know, that's besides the point. So, let me go ahead and oh, yes, and we got the, un and the unstable watch early on, which is good. I really like the unstable watch. Now, the regular attack for the Engineer is this, which is we're good. It seems like it's an area attack by itself, so that's already really good for me. Let's see what else he has. Okay, apparently he fucking launches missiles and everything. That's good, too. He's like a teleport. He's like a walking missile launcher. That's good. And then we have... What the hell is this? Mines? Are those mines? If he drops mines, then I could see this being amazing. Did he just hang out there? Until somebody walks over them, I guess? Alright, that's actually pretty good. Uh, that's the case. I assume that's the case. Let's jump up here really quickly. Let's get at that axis here. And the last thing is... Oh! I get my own turret! Oh, shit. Alright. I should have probably read the skills before I actually chose the character. <laughs> Hindsight 2020. So I get my own turret as well. That's fucking amazing. Alright, I could see myself really liking this class. Famous last words that I, you know, end up hating this class by the end of the episode. But we'll see. Alrighty, so let's actually start looking for the teleporter early on. One of the things I like to do is get the uh, first stage out of the way fast, and then whatever money we racked up, we use to uh, buy items in peace, and then go on to the next level and kind of really start taking it seriously, I should say. Not that I'm not taking it seriously now, you know. I kind of really like this attack, honestly. It's kind of like really crowd control in itself. Uh, let me drop a turret here. Alright, Sandcrap, stop being a dick. Oh, yeah, the mines. Dude, that's awesome! They just kind of walk into the mines and fuck their life up. Alright, this is actually really, really fun already. Let me get a, this thing to heal up on time as well. And let's see, our turret's still hanging out there. Uh, we have enough money. Oh, let's, let's get the one that lets us run faster. The uh, hoof, I should say. They'll definitely be in our best interest. Alright, let's see if the teleporter is not gonna be... Oh, there is a drone, and I definitely want to get that drone, so... The moment we get money, that drone is definitely going to be get activated because we all know what I do with drones, and pretty much drones is almost cruise control, essentially. You know what? That's probably the case in reality. That's what a lot of people probably think and say. I haven't really looked into it too much, but... Fuck that, all right? You know what? This game is difficult. You could definitely use all the drones you could imagine. Uh, let's see. Let's proceed up here, and let's assume that the teleport is going to be up here. If not, then it's going to be all the way in... All right, it's here, definitely. Cool. So my fear was I was going to be in the left upper portion of the map altogether, which if that was going to be the case, then we had a lot of uh, traveling to do it back. So let's go ahead and activate this. And again, we're looking for... Let me go ahead and fucking stop time right now. And just fuck up the Vagrant's life as much as we can right now. Let me drop some mines just to kind of ruin all these guys as well. Alrighty. So far, I, I'm really digging this class. Like, it seems to have a lot of, like, crowd control capability altogether. Vagrant isn't really, you know, long for this world, apparently. Let me drop some more mines. And let me just launch these missiles. Hopefully it'll kill the Vagrant. It did. Alright, good. And we're already done with the Vagrant, so that's actually really damn good. Alright, so altogether, really, really good run with the Engineer so far, at least for the first level. Again, the first level wasn't anything to kind of like tip your cap towards or anything like that, especially when you're still very easy difficulty. But you know what? It's, uh, it's at least uh, some sort of progress, that's for sure. At least like this class is a little bit more straightforward than the uh, Bandit. The Bandit seems to rely a little bit on a little bit too much luck, essentially. Or probably not even luck, more skill in reality. That's probably why I like this class more. It's less based on skill, it seems. Alrighty. It's just basically, I love classes essentially, it's like, yeah, just go out there and use all your skills half assedly and you'll succeed, and that's fine. Probably when I bought that item, it should have probably been to my best interest to actually pick it up. Alrighty, there we go. We got another monster log for the Wisp. So, as you can imagine, um, another thing I want to rack up on is also ways to heal myself up. And we only have one enemy remaining, which is this guy, so we're almost going to be done with this. Let me just actually drop this guy here and let him deal with that. 
Now let's go ahead and use up this money that we have. I know we have a drone down there for 40 that we definitely want to get before we uh, decide to get out of the stage altogether. Nothing there already you got those items and I believe there was also something else next. Yeah, all right, cool. So let's activate the drone. This is gonna be a healing drone, which is good. And... All right, the lens maker glasses. Not like lens crafters. Is lens crafters even still around? Um, imagine I... Probably so, I, I don't even know. I wouldn't- I should know in reality considering how blind I am. I'm fucking so blind, it's almost ridiculous how blind I am. It's, it, it, it amazes me when I put glasses on and I can actually see again. Because when my glasses come off, it's just like, you know, left is right, up is down. Like, you know, basically walls and people turn into like one mesh of like, you know, humanity itself. And it's just kind of like I'm talking to walls at times and people are like, who are you talking to? It's kind of like, oh, I thought I was talking to George. It's like, you don't even know George first and foremost. There's no George in your life, so firstly, you're blind as fuck and you're insane, apparently, because you're talking about a George when you don't even know one. But, you know, that's besides the point. So let me go drop some mines on this guy here. I fucking love this class, honestly, I really do. It's really fun. It's basically like a, it's a hit and run class. It's just like, you know, alright, cool, let me do some damage. Oh shit, things are getting difficult. Let me just run and drop some mines. It reminds me almost of Accurate, essentially. And that's why I'm so good with Accurate. It's kind of like, alright, cool, just drop some poison and run the fuck away. Don't even deal with anything. Alright, so it didn't seem like the teleporter was up there, so let's definitely start looking to proceed on over to the bottom portion of the stage. These little balls are pretty cool too, because they kind of bounce around, so if you kind of miss your target, they'll kind of like just bunch around back and forth, and oh cool, another drone. You just don't have the money for it just yet. I think that's going to be one of the missile drones as a matter of fact, because of the, I can tell because of the high price. <laughs> so... Let's see if we can kind of, uh, gather up enough money right now to get it. I don't think we probably will. We are kind of way off from getting it. But let's keep in mind where it's at, and we could definitely go back and get it. Alright, this guy's gonna be a dick, however. All the time. You're always a dick. It doesn't matter where we are. Alright, cool. Another drone over here. Now... Our drone is going to be back there. Let's not forget the missile one. Right now we have one of the, uh, we have the, uh, fast shooting drone as well, so... This will at least do it for now, but before we exit the stage, let's be sure to, hopefully, you guys can remind me to actually go back and get the, uh, missile drone, because that would be really good for us. There is another object there to make us run faster, so... I, there's a lot of good items right now that we're running into, honestly. I could definitely make our run be successful. However, I just don't have the money for it at the moment. And I feel like just going forward is kind of just making it more of a hassle to come back and get those items. But you know what? I kind of have to keep moving forward. And there's a teleporter. So let's get let's deal with the teleporter now. <laughs> just so that it spawns enemies for us. And hopefully we get enough money to... Oh, shit. All right. Now, this is going to be interesting. I'm not entirely sure this is going to work exactly like it did with um, Acrid. But it does seem to be working that same way, actually. He's just walking and taking damage, just, uh, doing his thing, so I guess let's just treat it like accurate altogether. Uh, as a matter of fact, I actually paused time, so let's do that. And let's shoot some of these missiles. And let's shoot in the proper direction as well, that would probably be in our best interest. Alright, so, that's over with. Let's get on out of here. We aren't taking too much damage, which is- Oh no, Wisp, but don't get up there! Alright, let's drop some more mines, and he should be going down soon. There he goes. Let's the the uh the flaming the big flaming school is the one that's kind of an asshole at times. Alrighty, so let's get out of here for a second just because I'm kinda of a little bit worried as to what's going on in that situation. That's a pretty quite a fucked up predicament up here. And you know what? It, this the engineer class doesn't work exactly like Acrid does, where I could just kind of uh put poison and run away. It's a little bit more uh <laughs> difficult than I thought it would be. But we're gonna we're still gonna make it work, believe me. I'm gonna try my best to make this work. Put some mines down over here. And where is my turret? Are my turrets still on cooldown? How come my turrets aren't showing up anymore? Alright, we are we do have the money to activate quite a few of those drones and get a few items as well, so that's definitely what I want to do. I guess I'm gonna use my uh my st stop clock as well when we um go deal with that clusterfuck of a mess up there. <laughs> Believe me, I'm still looking at that. I'm kind of like trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to go about it, but... Alrighty. Let's see if we can kind of do it now. Oh, that didn't work out too well. 
All right, here we go. All right, that kind of thinned it out a bit for us. Let me just drop some more mines. Some of these guys are almost dead. Luckily for me, those guys are kind of hanging out over there for some reason, which is good. Oh, God damn it! I just alerted them to me, apparently. All right, we're almost there. All right, my turret is over here doing a bit of work itself. And there we go. We actually got rid of all that stuff, which is good. Now, we just got to deal with that. There we go. We have three enemies remaining, and they're all actually over there, so that's good. Our difficulty has spiked up to medium now, but that's not too big a deal right now. Alright, so we're done here. However, we want to go back, as we saw a lot of good items on our way, especially the um, drone is my main interest at the moment. Hopefully, I could get back up there easily. Sometimes this stage uh, kind of fucks you over in terms of getting back to where you wanted to go, because there's not the teleporters that make you jump up these jumps altogether. So let me go and invest in this. All right, you know what? Let me actually... Oh, God, five seconds I could use it. This is actually really good. The marble, it'll basically do this for me. It'll let me go all the way back and then have to... It'll let me avoid having to do the trip all over again, essentially, what I'm trying to get hit here. Let me go and get the... Faster running. And we do still have enough money for the drone. So what I did there, I left the, the, the watch, which believe me, I'm going to get before we leave. But I I basically chose uh, switched it out momentarily so we could get the marble portal. So essentially what that does is lets me use the item once again to teleport back to that area. So I don't have to necessarily come back and kill more time by basically going through all this bullshit again. And our goal is right here, our drone. Now we're going to have a missile drone as well. So we have a healing drone, a regular machine gun drone, and the missile drone. Now let's use the item, and boom! Teleports is back over here. Unfortunately, I forgot that the uh, other items will despawn after time, so we did lose the watch, which is kind of uh, not that good, considering how well that watch was working for us for bosses. So we'll see the repercussions of that momentarily, I imagine. Let me go ahead and use some of this money over here. I don't want to use that. Or actually, I should. I, I should actually probably switch that out for the... Uh, let's do the barbed wire, I guess. And let's just... I guess... Offer up a bit more money really quickly. For nothing. And do it again for nothing, and we can't do it anymore. Let me go ahead and switch... Get, let me get the Sawrang. Just for some crowd control damage as well, instead of the portal. I like the portal. It's really, uh, however, the portal is really, I guess, situational. Oh, the underwater catacombs. You know what? This is one of the maps that I have probably only done once, and... I'm not sure how well I did in it as well, so... Uh, basic... Oh, the portal's here. You know what? Let's just fucking activate it now. How about that? Let's not even dick around. See what happens. Who are we gonna deal with is reality the question. Maybe the toxic beast? I'd rather deal with the toxic beast. I know his pattern pretty well. Colossus is even better! Okay, what's not better is these little assholes that are showing up now. Okay, get away. Taking a little bit too much damage. Put your mines down. Oh no. My, uh, one of my drones went down. I need some money to recover that drone. Alright, recover the drone, good. There we go. Shit. All right, sand crabs, you need to relax. You're not even in the sand anymore. You're underwater. Uh, let me use this item here. And this drone, well, this crab over here is almost dead as well as this one. Let's go ahead and kill him just for the level up and the extra money. Let me go and drop some uh, mines over here so the Colossus can start walking on him and hurting himself as well. Drop a turret there. You know, I'm really digging this class as a, in terms of, uh, I guess, crowd control as well. It's not as good as accurate, obviously, because you have to rely on the mines doing their job. And, you know, obviously once the mine goes off, it doesn't do continuous damage like the accurate's poison does, but it's still relatively good. I dropped the turret there, I believe, so that should definitely help me out to a degree. And let me shoot my missiles up there. Good. And we could use the, uh, Sawrang again. Alright, the Colossus is almost dead as well. Let me get 
my drone back over here. I didn't even know I lost that guy. Yeah, so we should be good. We'll definitely be making it to the next level. There's only nine enemies remaining as well, so... At this point, it's just a matter of getting rid of these guys and going back and getting a few extra items here and there if we want to really risk it, and I do, because we do need some items for sure. However, overall, so far, I'm really enjoying the Engineer Class, that's for sure. It's really quite fun in terms of just, like, ganging stuff up and just doing your thing about it. Alright, what do you have? One guy many left, and he's gonna be towards the portal. So let's go ahead and ignore that guy for now, because we know exactly where he's at. He's by the exit altogether. And let's go see if we could find a few items to invest a little bit of money on. Maybe another drone? Who knows? Another drone would be better for me. The more drones, the better, I say. Kind of sound like uh, an android crazed one. Oh, okay, what the hell is this? Oh, no. Okay, I forgot. I thought... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, essentially, if you want to unlock Acrid, this is how you do it. Essentially, with Acrid, in the third stage, you'll find that little... Uh, little building that was right there and you unlock it when you do unlock it obviously Acker comes out and you have to um, beat him in order to unlock him I already did that so unfortunately I thought that it would give me another character instead but no it gave me Acker again that's fine though as you can see Acker isn't that much of a threat for you if anything it's gonna at least give me a level up and a few more bit of money to invest on so that's good but yeah if you ever want to unlock Acker then there you go that's how you do it and you do have to beat him but again not that big of a challenge in reality Okay, I'm kind of not too pleased in terms of uh, what's happening here in terms of items. I have all this money. Well, not all this money, but I have relatively amount of good money that I'm trying to waste, but I can't. And we got the jetpack. I would rather, rather like that. I don't know. I saw like a chain. Oh, not a chainsaw, but I saw what looked to be an axe of some kind. I would have really liked the axe because I've never gotten that before. Now, one of the things about the aquatic level itself is you do fall down right there, you will um, have to... It'll basically... It, you're stuck, essentially, so the game kind of resets you back up to one of the pillars itself because you can't get out by regular means. You can't necessarily like just jump up and kind of swim up like you would like in a Mario game or something like that. So, altogether, this was kind of a waste in reality. I All I did was just waste time, unfortunately, which is not in my best interest, but you know, what, whatever. I was hoping to uh, strike it big a bit with the money that we had and get a few extra items, but fortunately it doesn't always work out for your best interest. So let's get the hell out of here now and go on to the fourth level. And there goes that crab. And nothing over here. Nope. So let's just get out of here. Let's just counter, counter losses and get out of here. The Hive Cluster. This is actually new as well. I've never been in here before as well. And there's another drone. So <laughs> as you can imagine, one of the first things I'm going to try to look forward to, uh, the Lantern... What the fuck? All right, I've never, I've never seen this thing before. All right, it's kind of really slow. Oh shit, he multiplies. All right, I was gonna say he's kind of really slow and kind of immobile. Not really sure I should be worried about him, but apparently he does multiply. So one of the things to keep in mind. And here are these flying dudes again. Shouldn't be that much of a problem. I do want to get that drone though. So the moment we get the money for it, that's gonna happen. And I have it now, and there you go. Uh, do I really want this? I guess it could kind of be helpful for us in a situation where there's a lot of people gangbanging us, essentially. So just get it for now and say goodbye to the Sawrang and continue onward. Now, when it comes to new levels, what bothers me... Well, it doesn't bother me, but what I have to realize is that I'm not entirely sure the layout of it just yet. I'm not even sure what are the environment hazards. At the same time, I don't know where the teleporters are usually situated at, so... One of the things I have to look forward to... What the hell is that shit up there? That is a huge item up there. Well, not a huge item, but like a huge obstacle. Maybe I could unlock something with it? We'll see. Probably not. It does seem like it's on this side as well. Alright, so far we're doing really good, though. I'm really um, digging our damage output altogether. Let me drop some mines over here for these guys. Alright, and my turret is going to do work on this faceless wonder over here, apparently. He kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, if you're into, like, luchadors and stuff, he kind of looks like, uh, Tinieblas from, uh, Mexican AAA wrestling back in the day. I'm not entirely sure if he still exists. He probably does, uh, I know that for the most part, 
when it comes to like Mexican wrestling, like, you know, their child and second child and third child and grandfather and grandson and like third cousin usually take over the mantle of whatever uh, wrestler they might be and whatnot. That's why there's like, you know, always like a 50th version of uh, Ultimo Dragon or something like that. Now I, oh, you could climb this, all right. That makes sense. That's another drone for us, so good. I'm not gonna complain about that. However, we still gotta figure out where the goddamn teleporter is. So this stage is a little bit more trickier, as you can imagine. A lot more platforming involved. And our difficulty has gone up to very hard now, so there is nothing for us up here. Shit. That's kind of making me worry a bit, because now I don't know where the teleporter could be. It could be essentially anywhere. What happens if I fall down here? Oh, well, if I fall down here, I'll find a teleporter, which is good. Now, let's see what kind of, uh, enemy we're... Oh, shit. Or not shit, but shit. Now, the Imp Overlord is quite annoying, because he's essentially one of those, like, little imps that tend to teleport around on you. Except he's a huge version that does a lot of damage, and it's, as you can imagine, really troubling. Now... He does a lot of damage, too, and he has a ranged attack, like so. So let me drop some mines here, and hopefully this kind of helps us out a bit. Oh, shit, all right. <laughs> he's, he's like, at least he can't come over here, so that's actually pretty good. Yeah, come at me, Imp. You can't do that, can you? You can't fit over here. Your giant ass is too huge. I mean, you can't shoot that fire flame shit at me, which is, you know, troubling, but it doesn't seem like it's just going to do enough damage to actually take me out, bitch, so... Yeah, you wish you were a bit smaller, huh? You wish you were Skilo. You know, I wish I was a little bit taller. Well, you wish you were a little bit smaller. It's quite the opposite. Okay, maybe... Why did I actually exit through there? Should have just hung out. Actually, he's almost dead, though. Just do one more of that barrage to do it. Excellent. All right, good. We got the Timekeeper secret. Falling low to help stops time. Good. All right, we got a lot of bit of money, too. We still have 30 seconds to kill before we can exit the stage as well. So, hey, you know what? For the first run with the Engineer, uh, pretty successful, I would say. Let me go ahead and use this to strike fear into the hearts of these monsters. Alright, how come you're not fearing me, Bergramon? Now, have I lost any drones? That's the real question. I think I have for some reason. It looks like it feels like I have. Alrighty, and there we go. So, we only have six more enemies to deal with before this, uh... We can exit the stage, so before we do that, let's get rid of those enemies, obviously, and also do a little bit of, uh, exploration here to see if we could probably find a few extra items that'll help us out on our journey. Let me acquire this. And I know there's an another, uh, character you can unlock in the fourth stage. Maybe we could, uh, run into it, unless I'm not sure if it's, uh, the Magma Barracks especially, a specific, though, which could be the case. What the hell is this over here? Oh, find a bloated survivor. Oh, I found something. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what the hell I got, but I, I found a bloated survivor, so I guess that's an unlockable. All right, so that's good. Good thing I kind of decided to check this out a bit. Um, I do have money to drop here, I guess, so let's do that. Might as well. We got the key item. I want to use the key item, actually. Now, what the key item does is essentially it lets you unlock any chest on the screen, no matter of the price. So because of that, it could be really good, as you can imagine. Uh, nothing for us here. All right, let's just get out of here. Let's go ahead and defeat the rest of these enemies and call it essentially a level. Engineer, kind of have to uh, speed it up a bit, bro. I wonder if, um, how many, like, huffs do you actually need in order to make, like, a really big notable difference in your walking speed is what I wonder. All right, let me drop a turret here. And let me send some missiles over here, because this guy seems to be quite the uh, pissed-off champion version of the, uh... Tinieblas that I called earlier. And there you go. No big deal. Now to get rid of those four guys that are still hanging out over there, and we'll be ready to call it quits. Getting up there seems to be a pain in the dick, though, because I have to kind of platform through those small little things. Uh, I'm going to have all this money too left over. I don't think there's anything else that I could kind of buy here, it seems. So... Fortunately for me, okay. Look at these guys. They kind of actually want to come at me, which is quite impressive. <laughs> All right, let's shoot those missiles and whatnot, and... Oh, no, don't fall! No, you're almost dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter, I suppose. All right, let's go to the teleporter and invest the next level. I will sh certainly do that. There's nothing for me to buy over here, is there? No. I could go over to the right and uh, sacrifice a bit more money again, but I'm not going to do that. Let's just 
No. Fuck it. Let's just go. Let's not dick around anymore. Now, I believe it's going to be the fifth level. If this is the fifth level, let's make sure that when I exit, we don't use the wrong button and uh, revisit an older level and get screwed. Now, obviously, the next time, last time we were here, we were here with Accurate, and we did really good, but again, we also had, like, what, 70-something drones on our part, so this time, we're going to do it without that many drones, and see how it pays off for us. Uh, if I was a betting man, I would say probably not as good as the Accurate run was going, but, um, we'll see. Let's be hopeful about the engineer. I want to give this guy all the, um, all the chance in the world to succeed, because uh, I'm really liking the class, honestly. I really am. It seems like a really fun class altogether, especially I could see it being really fun in multiplayer as well, just kind of, uh, busting shit up while you have, like, probably, like, an enforcer just kind of soaking damage up and whatnot. Okay. We saw one of those enemies down there, those lizard dudes, but I don't want to deal with him just yet. Let's make sure we can actually first and foremost find a teleporter before we start worrying about, um, I guess, leveling up and all that stuff. And let's get this. All right, good. So now let's, we obviously notice that there is no teleporter here. The teleporter's gonna be over here. So I think it would probably be in my best interest to just uh, call for it now, I guess. Toxic beast, yes. All right, where's the toxic beast though? Where is he? Where are you? I hear you. Did you spawn elsewhere? Where did you spawn? Jesus Christ, he spawned quite far, all right. Oh, go, no, wrong button, wrong button. Okay, that was the wrong button all around. Shit, 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 all right. I am in quite the uh, predicament now, that's for sure. Get up there. Alrighty, uh, let me get a bit of help before I go back down there. That was pretty bad. I, I pressed the wrong shortcut on that one and took insane amounts of damage trying to drop mines on the, uh, Toxic Beast. Alright, let me drop the turret over here to kind of help me alleviate this situation that we're in here. One of my turrets is, or one of my drones is about to call it quits as well. I'm about to call it quits as a matter of fact. I don't, I'm not really sure I'm too long for this world, it seems. Oh, god damn it. I lost one of my turrets as well. Or not my turrets, but one of my drones. There we go. Got him back. Now let's just jump back and forth over here. There's no reason to uh, play it brave. And, you know, let's just play the cowardly part here and just jump around. Let's see if I can revive one of my drones here. Oh, god damn it. My drones are just falling left and right. <laughs> this is not looking too good. Oh, shit. All right, let me get up here and use my missiles, I suppose, and hopefully that does something for us. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. All right, at least the, this timer's over. Let me launch some missiles. Maybe fucking get a saving grace type of thing over here. All right. Oh, god, I'm gonna fucking die. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I'm stuck. No, no. Don't let it end this way. Don't let it end this way, Rocky! Oh, motherfucking Toxic Beast did me in. You know what, Toxic Beast? At least you're poison, and I'm happy about that ordeal altogether. Alright, guys, so there you go. That was the Engineer class. Obviously not as great as taking on uh, big hordes as accurate, but still holds his own up pretty well. Honestly, I think that had I not fucked up initially, I would have probably done a lot better. Plus, those little commandos are just a ton of pains in the asses altogether. So, uh, again, guys, um, if you see any sort of uh, knowledge you want to drop on me in terms of classes and whatnot, what to focus on, be sure to let me know. It's all cool and dandy. And I am perfectly aware I just said cool and dandy, which, you know, apparently I'm 75 years old now. So either way, guys, regardless of everything altogether, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, series so far. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode, and I will catch you guys next time.